Okay. Let's see if this game is worth the seven year wait. Okay, the settings, but the controls seem to be okay. Might as well start a new game. Four characters here. Let's go with Lilac, obviously. No, I know how the game works. I've played the first one. <laughs> New villain. fast, but not fast enough! Oh no! Carol! Three years have passed, huh? Yeah, I remember reading about that. I did play the sample version of this on my YouTube channel back in 2017. So, I should be familiar with the controls. Cyclone! Oh, I'm so excited for this. I, I may not show it, but I am really excited.
gravestone. Those are like equipable items in this game or something. I know this is not going to be completely linear like the first game was. Collect gems. where the boss should be. Massive enemy crab. Attack its weak points for massive damage. Or did, did they make this fight harder than it was in the demo? Wow, that victory theme really goes hard. Destroyed. Where are you? I told you to stay put. I've been put for weeks. I'm not a house cat. Carol, there have been attacks all over. I needed you to watch the house. Sheesh, I'm not your watchdog either. Watchdog? Oh, please. You go out, like, all the time. What, like you don't? Besides, what did you expect me to do? Hey, Mr. 400-ton robot, you better not crash into our house at Mach 5 or me and my motorcycle will really show you what's what. That's not the... I just... Never mind. I don't want to fight about this. Hey, come on. Don't be like that. We can fix this. No sweat. I know. It's just... These attacks are really getting out of control. I'm running myself ragged chasing after them all. Pshaw. Those things don't stand a chance against world-saving pros like us. Yeah, I guess. But this will take weeks to fix. Months, even. Hmm. Well, why don't we just stay at Mila's for now? She runs a lab, not a bed and breakfast. 
but still, maybe she know what to do. What? She's suddenly the brainy type. And here we have the hub world, the newest addition to Freedom Planet Two. Wait, is this a level or? Oh no, it just seems to be. I don't know. What do you call those things? Stations. such late notice, but could we crash at your place tonight? Our house was destroyed by this giant robot, and we need a place to stay while we fix up I the- I brought snacks! Please, come right in. Mi laboratorio es tu laboratorio. Uh, what? You're so Spanish I... now? Oh, uh, never mind. Just don't touch anything that's glowing, or moving, or growling, okay? What are you doing here? Did your tree hose get wrecked too? This isn't about that explosion last week, right? It was an accident, I swear! I was just trying a new chemical compound that would change the color of my clothes! No. Oh, okay. But now that you've mentioned it, I'll have you file a little report once we return to Shang 2. Oh, okay. We return? Don't tell me. The Magister has summoned you all for an audience. <sighs> I said don't tell me! The Magister wants to see us? But why? We're safer discussing this at the palace. Come. Well, what if we don't wanna? You did kinda crash our unscripted sleepover. It would be unwise of you to refuse. Right! We're you going to you! Hey, you heard you the lady! Watch this oh, whoa, whoa, hold on a sec! Make that two reports. The hell? That reminded me of Sonic Adventure 2, where all the characters are stepping over their lines all the time. I got called in every month to patch things up around here. This place is literally falling apart. I bring this little guy with me when I'm mining for gems. Earth orbs make nearby crystals drift towards you, kind of like a magnet. Don't do today what you can do tomorrow. Juniper? What the hell is Juniper? Juniper talks amazingly well for a bird, but she can still be a little hard to understand. She guides us on our path to master the seven senses and control our bodies and our fates. The first five senses are physical, sight, touch, hearing, taste, and smell. The sixth and seventh senses transmit the first five through space and time, respectively. The sixth sense is what some would call telepathy. Few can truly master it, especially with technology acting as a substitute. Have you ever been knocked out in battle and, upon waking, felt like you've already lived through future events? The seventh sense influences this feeling. It is the perception that what we are experiencing now is a vision that an infinite number of past selves can learn from. What? I mean, like, deja vu? Oh, that's Juniper. Friend of Hound! Hello! Friend is traveling? We have items! Very strong. Rabbit speaks of them. No rooms here. You can sleep in Hound Tree. Safe travel! Wait, is she the rabbit? I, I don't know. I honestly thought I thought Mila was a rabbit at first. I'm the local merchant around these parts. I saw a couple of handful... Uh, eh. I saw a couple of helpful items that toned down the difficulty for new adventurers. Using helpful items reduces the crystal bonus you receive at the end of a stage, so I would suggest that you only use them if you need them. Um, attacks cause lingering water damage. 
that could be that, that could be good. Transforms all crystal flowers into life flowers. So health. Okay. Oh, I can't buy it. Oh, I need a diamond crystal thingy. And how do I get those? I will meet you outside the gate. Gather supplies if you must, but make it quick. Mila is really attached to this stump for some reason. She calls him Mr. Stumpy. Okay, I'm guessing there's really nothing else here. No? Okay. You will travel to Shangtu Palace and meet with the Magister immediately. You will act with proper reverence. I will not tolerate any flippancy. No worries, Lady Nira. This pl this takes place three years after the first game, yet Nira sounds younger than she did. She she sounded older in the first game. Okay, Shenlin Park. Next level, I guess. Whoa. They got dialogues during stages now. I hope that's not going to be distracting, like it is in the Gunvolt games. Can't do a tornado attack underwater. It's lame. Also, the trains don't hurt, do they? No. Okay. Cyclone! Judging by past Sonic games I've played, I would think that they would. What the hell? Am I going the wrong way? Is there a set path I'm supposed to take through the levels?
That's cool how you can just sort of interact with the environment around you. Oh wait, do I want that? I think it protects from plane attacks. I'm pretty sure. Whoa! Thing? In the previous game, those rings gave you like an extra, an extra dragon dash. those things? What the hell? It's sticking its tongue out at me. Here we go, it's that bird that's been following me. damn thing just shitting on me? I think it's literally shitting on me.
Oh, I kind of messed up her victory pose. Uh, did you guys see my sweet moves back there? That guy was like, roar, and I was all like, bam And he was like, oh god, not the face! Oh, sorry. I think I was in a different part of the city. But, bam All right, yeah! Good thing we split up. Nice and quick, just the way I like it. <coughs> That's what she said. Uh, the dialogue is going to be just a bunch of teenage girl-like prattle, isn't it? Oh well. I hope I can stomach it. General Gong's got great training dojo. He'll help you learn some more advanced techniques. I used to live next to Kiara until she pulled out all of my furniture and put it in her dollhouse. Why do kids have to be so giant? Don't forget your guard button. The timing's a little tricky, but it can deflect attacks with practice. Oh yeah, I haven't... I didn't notice that there. It's got the controls at the bottom. Okay, so if you hold it down... It does a little, like, evasion dash. This here's my training course. I'd love to show you around, but first the Magister wants to see you. Head to the Royal Palace on the eastern end of town to find him. Come back here when you're done and I'll have some challenges waiting for you. Do I get anything for doing those? How are you settling in? I know Shang Tu can be a pretty confusing city for you foreign types. Not that I'm saying you're stupid or anything, just that there's an adjustment period to our way of life. Hey there, name's May. Studying the burgeoning new field of neuroscience. That's brain science, FYI. Over there's Dr. Tovlove. She's into bioengineering, which is all that synthetic flesh stuff. I'd ask you if you were here about the research assistant position, but, I mean, just look at your hands. I need tiny fingers. I s I need tiny fingers, I said. Tiny children's fingers. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry if I scared you. Dr. Tuplove says I need to work on my people skills and my scientific research, research ethics. I'm in charge of fighting illnesses around these parts. Life petals may protect us from serious physical injuries, but nobody's immune to the flu. Yeah, or COVID. Good to see some new faces around here. The General's been spending more time with the mangy pup lately. I'm kind of jealous. Pascal, I'm guessing that's one of the new characters. Oh, there's the duck. I'm I'm gonna guess what he's gonna say. Quack. Yep. No quack from you? I'm in charge of the armory here. I also refine materials into gold gems. So feel free to bring me anything you collect on the field. Oh, that's how you get those things. You got you gotta trade in these little orbs or the regular gems. Oh, um, Mother says if I have a wood shield, light petals will move towards me. Mmm, so yummy. Hee <laughs> hee. General Gong's got a great training dojo. Oh, I talked to you already. Wait, weren't you just at the training dojo? 
It's been a while since I saw you. Welcome back. This knee of mine keeps me from proper field work, but I'll support you from the sidelines. Your Excellency. Welcome. We appreciate your attendance on such short notice. Why have you brought us here, O oh Exalted One? I am sure you are aware of the rise in creature attacks throughout Avalus. Our intelligence suggests that this is not a coincidence. However, their connection remains a mystery. We need capable fighters to counter the attacks and discover their origin. Assist us, and you will be graciously rewarded. What kind of reward are we talking about here? Wads of cash? A statue of yours truly? <gasps> a solid gold motorbike? Um, wow, I think narcissist. The motor would melt a solid gold bike. Wow. Way to crush my hopes and dreams into dust, Mila. Any gems you find on a mission are yours to keep. In addition, you may use the palace grounds as your base of operations. What? That's not a reward. That's just picking up loose change. That's cleanup duty. Carol, we need a place to stay. We can't just reload off Mila. Besides, the money could help us rebuild our home. Well, I don't know about you, but I want to find the robot that trashed our house and kick its big, shiny metal butt. I'd like to help, but, um, my laboratory... Our soldiers can transport all your equipment here easily. Oh, that'd be great! Just make sure they're wearing safety equipment. Have we reached an agreement? Ladies? Magister, we accept your offer. You render your world a great service. I'm just gonna go pee, hang on. Sorry, I'm just gonna take a few Advil here. My head's kind of paining me right now. Wow, okay, I literally saved the whole world from a genocidal maniac in the last game. I think I should be showing a lot more respect than that. I thought I smelled water dragon. Hey, I've seen you around before. Aren't you an earth dragon? Not quite. Why don't you go make yourself useful? Who the hell is that? Oh, that's Askel the character that was mentioned earlier. 
I try telling people about what you did to help us beat Brevin, but they don't listen. Don't worry, though. Everyone here in the palace knows your story. Mostly the part about you getting thrown in jail. But hey, that's still something. Yeah, it's not good. Sup? Sorry, I was listening to music. Tunder... Tunder... L Lillings? Tunder Lillings' new album is pretty dope. Sure thing. Have a seat at the table over there, and we'll serve up some drinks. New blood, huh? Reminds me of when I first signed up. Got put through a ringer of a hazing that never seemed to end. I was cleaning the latrines every day. I had to work twice as hard to get where I am. The hazing finally stopped, but the hate didn't. Too bad for them. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't seem like a bad guy. He's just, like, kind of a dick. I'm laying low here till I hit the road again. Manager was nice enough to rent me one of the rooms in exchange for livening up the place with tunes. If you find any vinyl, I can totally play them back for you. Oh, that's a jukebox. Cool. I like your shoes. Yo, what's up? Okay, let's see if I can get anything done at this training dojo. This here's my training course. We've got a bunch of challenges for you to test your skills. Heck, if you think you're ready, you can even battle me or your buddies in a sparring match. What do you say? Nah, let's train first. Reward 80 gems. Dodgeball. Timed or not. Okay, this is timed, I think. Yeah. Cyclone! Ha! 
I don't know. I still feel like I could have done better on that one. I feel like I was better at dodgeball in public school than in a friggin' video game. these people? Oh, I can't battle him yet. I guess I have to beat these four first. with half health. Not even that. Half of the last of my health. What the hell? I think I got it. Cut me some slack here, Captain America.
I gotta stay on the ground when he's bouncing around like that. Well, at least it's my personal best. Got him down to his last little health bit. Yeah! 
gotcha. Stay classy. That was cool, because I, I was, well, no, I, I didn't always wonder what it would be like to fight him, but once I saw that you could here, I was, I was intrigued. Yeah, I don't like her, so I'd love to kick the shit out of her again. Spamming the hell out of that spear of hers. Christ lady, calm down. It's like I can't even hit her in the air because she's always she's she's always she's always she's always thrusting at me. I can barely hit her. Holy crap, how are you supposed to beat her? She doesn't seem to have a set pattern. She's just ir totally erratic. I'd love to see someone do a no chop, no death, eh, no damage run of this.
take her on another time. <clears throat> I want to get on with the adventure here. Hi! Welcome to El Laboratorio de Mila. By the awesome power of science, I make potions to help out on our missions. Uh, stocks. What? What do stocks mean in this game? Strong revivals. Recover life petals when reviving. Oh, does that mean I'll revive at full health instead of just half, half a leaf? Physical attacks absorb life from enemies. Increase the damage of physical attacks. Number of hits elemental shields can absorb. Maximum running speed. Increases jumping power. Max life up. Increases number of life petals by one. Oh! Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, what the hell? Can I... Can I restore my health somewhere? <laughs> my buddy Naomi owns a record store in Changmu. You should check it out sometime. Our rooms are booked up. All three of them. We've been saying for years that we need to expand, but they won't permit any more construction in the courtyard. Okay, where can I... Where can I restore my health? Should you have mission-specific questions, please consult Lieutenant Nira. While in the field, she will act as your direct liaison in defending of Shang Tu. Wait, Lilac is from... Shang Mu, right? No, she's from here. This is Shang Tu, I think. different scenarios, huh? Let's try this one first. Sounds good to me. Kind of looks like a whale. Snap, they're stealing Pengu. There's been an attack on the museum! The culprit stole Pengu! Pengu contains an extensive database of our history and culture. Much of its knowledge has yet to be deciphered. It must be recovered at all costs.
Oh, that's neat. A set of platforms that act as those, uh... Those click-clack balls that go back and forth. The... I, I don't know what they're called. good in this game so far. Strife and Wolf have really outdone themselves. Oh, I see. You have to destroy those things. the thing I got? Yeah, I don't know. Nope. Uh, it's not R1 or L1 to switch items or use items. I don't know. No, I'm actually curious. How do you do this? Automatic. Kind of reminds me of that spider boss from Mega Man X. Okay, maybe it doesn't actually show up there as one more leap. Maybe it's just like, I take less damage or something. Wait, I just got another one of those diamond guys.
Oh! What a way to go. Wow, this is actually kind of trippy. That background, coupled with the moving platforms. Okay, what does destroying those things do? needs a more delicate touch. This is for tracking our health, you jerk! Cyclone! Some kind of sloth robot with cloaking ability.
Oh, I already have full health. I don't think I'm going to get tired of that music for a while. Hey, you've got some explaining to do. Hey, it's that guy from the intro. Who are you? Why did you destroy my home? Ah! You broke my buddy, my friend. How could you? We were just having fun. That's what we felt like when you broke our house. Doesn't feel so good, does it? His name is literally Ah. The hell? Are you done? What just happened? That's what I'd like My to know. Luck here. Mission accomplished. The culprit is incapacitated. You fool! What are you still doing there? The thieves are getting away in their airship. What? I only found that out like right now. Enough. Head to the seaport immediately. Move out. <laughs> dummy, 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 dummy! You fell for me! Hey, get back here! Chill the fuck out, dude. Who are you? Gallery. Yeah, it's that little guy from from the intro that in, that uh that uh what's the word? It brings down the Galaxy Trail logo. Winston's Confections, a staple of every corner store in Avalis. Some would say running candy fac a candy factory is a dream job, but they haven't seen what I've seen. It's best not to think about what I've been through to bring the gift of candy to everyone. Just know that, in the end, the struggles I faced make it all the sweeter. and bosses. I woke up thinking, oh, Bo, today is going to be a wonderful day. And then my museum got blown up by sky pirates. You are banned for life, you hear me? You and your Tarzir friend, banned. I might let you back if you pay for all the damage you caused, but I doubt a reprobate like yourself could ever afford it. What do you mean, how? Donations! There's signs all over the place for them! Get going! Um... Excuse me, that... That little kid is not even my friend. Huh. And 
what does that do? Am I re rebuilding the mechs that I destroyed? Hi, I'm Sammy. Welcome to the gallery. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Master says that you're banned. A significant number of exhibits were destroyed by all those robots. If you help us pay for new exhibits, I'm sure he'll let you back in. The doors in the main hall lead to different galleries ready for new exhibits. Most of the doors are locked at first, but we'll open more galleries later. We place signs next to exhibits you can donate to. We accept a variety of currencies, including cores, crystals, and gold gems. When all of the exhibits in a room are constructed, we'll build a perfect replica of the specimen. Oh, so those aren't the actual robots that I destroyed. Ha! Hi, are you the one who wrecked the museum? If so, thanks. Now that he's mad at someone else, the amount of side-eye I get from Sourface McSourton has practically dropped to zero. Can't even remember the last time he called me a loitering layabout. Speaking of the Gal Galaxy Trail logo... How do I... How do I trade in the gems again? Sorry, I can't give you a weapon you haven't been trained to use. Besides, I've heard about your dragon boost, and it's probably stronger than anything we have here. So I can get new weapons in this game? I'm not sure. Maybe they're automatic. But the, I have two slots up there and a potion shaped slot. So I don't know what those are for. People keep mixing me up with the other guy. I don't see the resemblance.
My parents call Askel's mangy pup a lot, but not to his face. I don't think it's a nice word. Wait, he's a dog? No, I thought he was a dragon. I want to know how to equip items, or if they really are automatic. I would think that they are. Oh, here's an explanation of what the shields do. Metal, protection from electricity, and swords. Allows walking on spikes. Oh, spikes. Protection from fire spawns life petal after collecting 20 gems. Water, obviously I know what that does. Earth pulls crystals towards you. Yeah, I pretty much knew that. Wood pulls life petals towards you. Oh yeah, that's right, it does. And protection from poison. Still, nothing that tells me about the potions. Will you tell me? Kinda looks like I can equip two, two potions and then a, n another one. I don't know. Slenderness in pandas happens because we don't need to hibernate, so we're free to pursue a diet that works best for our job. Is that an actual fact? Mind Control is the cool new kid on the medical block, and I'm the hot, goss teen reporter ready to throw down and get the scoop through scientific inquiry and experimentation. All I need are brains to study, I mean. Gotta find me some fresh heads to crack open and scramble around the squishy insides. I've asked the guards if any of them want to donate their brains to science. No takers yet. Maybe some kind of financial incentive is needed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk away from you, because you're starting to freak me out. You're gonna turn into a supervillain, aren't ya? Try going back to the other place. Yeah, 
Oh! Oh, okay. That's how. Oh, that's that Brave Stone I got. Countdown timer appears. If it runs out, you receive no crystal bonus. Max life up. Oh, so this is where the potions go. Oh, I see. Okay, let's go to the next level then. I thought I only bought one. Didn't they say that would that would cut the score that, that I get in half or something? Have to pee again. Hold on. Airship Siguata. Is this gonna be like Sky Battalion, the Sky Battalion level from the first game? Fuck off!
Wow, those cannons. Those cannons are very, uh, oil ocean. I think, I th yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the level they were using. Yo, that's cool. What's with all these bird robots? I don't think I've ever seen Sonic ride a missile before. Cool little bonus things. Bounce off of that thing. I'm guessing this thing is a mini boss. Like she's been deactivated. Whoa there, throttle back, Tiger. Hey you! What do you think 
you're doing with our robot? Let me bring you up to speed. The name's Coruscant, captain of the Sigwada and mercenary extraordinaire in the flesh. That Pengu of yours is a real sweet piece of hardware. Is that Carol's you stole it older sister? We're here to steal it back. I don't know what you're talking about, but there's no way you're keeping her after what you've done. I figured you'd say that. Then it's time to kick the tires and light the fires! Wait, Target th why is, then why is she evil? <laughs> well, uh, it doesn't really matter if you're related or not. Still be bad. Looks like someone's hankering for a spank. Gotta push the envelope. now. Impressive. I actually got a little beat it up. The mastermind, I presume. Doesn't she look familiar? <laughs> hey guys, kept you waiting. Huh? What the heck, Corey? Carol? Is that you? Well, ain't this a Charlie Foxtrot of a situation? Sorry, sis. Another time. Corey! After her! A decoy. Clever. So that's what Corey is I short for. I must reluctantly for. agree. For a wildcat. But look! Pango's back! Yay! I, I know that's, that's not to really what it's short for. Carol, was that... Was that your sister? Yeah, honestly, I'm totally weirded out right now, so... Sister or not, this was an attempted robbery of a major historical artifact on Shengtuzian soil. Airspace. Both. The Magister will hear of this. The ports have been ghosted, milady. Excellent. And the Pangu drone? Too much downtown action. We had to jink out of there pronto. Unfortunate. Remember, feline. I cannot guarantee the safety of you or your family unless you have properly fulfilled your duties. Yes, milady. The drone will be ours, eventually. It is only a matter of time. Oh, she's working with the villain. But yeah, why? She's awake! Scanning location. Good evening, sir. Hey, the museum got trashed, so this place is your new home for now. Location set as home. Now turn into a dragon! Invalid command. Sorry, kid. Her dragon mode had to go. Didn't want to scare the museum staff in case someone accidentally Aww. messed with it. Bill, lame. I'm totally okay with that. I'd hate to fight that thing again. 
though I kind of miss writing it. I've informed the Magister of today's events. That woman is now on the official terror watch list for all of Shang-2. That's probably for the best? For the best? That's my sister we're talking about. The watch list is designed with the safety of Shang-2 and its citizens in mind. Your frankly nebulous familial ties don't even come into it. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, it's like I was saying, it doesn't matter if you're family, like, if they do something bad, they're bad. Okay, I'm guessing the people who have light bulbs over the heads have new things to say. Can't believe that we lost the ports from one little airship attack. Feels humiliating, honestly. Still, managed to pull one over the mangy pup, so I got something good out of this at least. Heard you helped get Pangu back. That's excellent. Machines like that are the reason I got into bioengineering. One of my colleagues at the Institute helped res reverse engineer Pangu's technology. Among other things, it helped us upgrade the equipment in this place. Oh, sorry, palace. Okay, yeah, you're the freaky mad scientist type kid who's gonna grow up to be all kinds of fucked up. So, we beat up a robot with a kid genius inside its gooey center, and then we found out there are two Carols? Our lives are strange. I hope the little guy's okay. Maybe we shouldn't have broken his friend. Yeah, Mila, I get that you're supposed to be, like, the cutesy anime girl stereotype who's also kind of a ditz. Who doesn't really want to hurt anyone. But that guy literally tried to... Well, he did steal something, so... Yeah, maybe it's time to hunker down and get serious. This is reality. Okay, don't have any gems. The nerve of those sky pirates, destroying our cultural heritage. Our history! I bet they came from Perusa, those lazy roastabouts. Some of these words they're using, I've never even heard of before. Our naval fleet's in shambles thanks to that sky pirate. Gotta rebuild the shipyards from scratch. Don't worry, our forces may be down to half strength, but Chang 2 will be protected. So, uh, this is gonna sound weird, but that airship lady is kind of cute? I mean, yeah, no. What she did is terrible, and, uh, busting up museums no one goes to is, uh, bad? Yeah, I'd say it is. Can't believe our ports got hammered by the Sigwata. Those sky pirates mostly operate out of Perusa. Pangu must have been real important for them to come this far. I'd steer clear of the museum for a while if I were you. Heard the curator holds a mean grudge. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a dick. Uh, he just told me to get the fuck out when I was there, so... You're not wrong. What the... what's this? Time capsules. Oh, is this, like, from from the previous game? This is our final message. Yeah, it is. A message that we leave for the future. Although we will respect the wishes of your people and allow our influence to pass into legend, there will come a time in your history when you must learn the truth. When we were stranded here, we sought desperately to return to our world. We wasted countless years trying to find a way home. 
but we are no closer to an answer than when we started. We decided that helping your civilization survive and prosper was a more efficient use of our technology. We have condensed our energy reserves into a physical relic of extraordinary power. With proper care, you may one day use it to travel to the stars, to find the answers that we alone could never find. If you wish to know more, you'll have to access our internal database. I pray that it is still intact by the time you receive this message. May the winds of time carry you for eternity. I wonder if we'll get to find out who he is in this game. I know he's probably dead. Like, long dead. But it would be nice to know. Lord Brevin. Yeah, I heard that he's not even going to make an appearance in this game. Not quite sure why. Three years have passed since the invasion that almost destroyed our world of Avalis. Brevin, the intergalactic warlord, had planned to steal the Kingdom Stone, source of energy for all our world's technology. With the help of Lilac, the Water Dragon Warrior, and her friends, we drove back our alien attackers. But the scars of war remain. The Kingdom Stone has been shattered, its fragments scattered into the very air around us. Remnants of the alien attack force haunt us still, striking us at our most vulnerable, leaving us in a perpetual state of turmoil. The world of Avalis needs hope. But more than that, it needs heroes. Well, that pretty much told me everything that I already know. I'm not that thrilled at the damage caused to the museum's exhibits. Neither is the owner. I suppose it was an unavoidable, all things considered. You should consider contributing a few gems towards the rebuilding process. In hindsight, perhaps we should have secured Pangu within the confines of the palace. Nevertheless, I believe having such a rare artifact be available for public viewing to be important. Pangu hologram. Oh, do I get to fight the dragon? Oh, no. That boss was pretty hard in the first game. I remember I died like a million times trying to beat it. <laughs> I don't know, I always thought mirror matches were really cool, especially when they were used as final bosses. Almost. 
Your own worst enemy is yourself. That is so true. All right, now, Nira, you ready to get your butt kicked? Well, hopefully. devised kind of a strategy there for a moment. I did kind of better, though. Although maybe it was just the RNG being nice to me. close that time. I didn't mean to do that. Guarding will help. In the heat of the moment, I kind of forget that I have it.
Oh, no, no. Oh, shit. That still counts. All right. Yeah, up yours, Nira. Okay, I think I can trade gems in again. That'd be good to have. Wait, what? Oh, that that's three. that one. Let's try this one next. Have you seen Carol? Yeah! She said she was going to shang -Mu to buy ice cream for everyone. Isn't she the best? Uh-huh. Sure. Let's just check on her super quick. Uh, Carol? Why are you going to shang -Mu? Battle Spear, gonna fight you to get me some grand prizes! Whoa, 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 what now? What about, you know, our missions from the Magister? Can't talk, robot smashy time! <sighs> Nira's gonna kill us. Do you hate Mondays like we do? Then come on down to the Battle Spear for Mayhem Monday! Face down the awesome power of our BattleBot Brigade! And don't forget about our knuckle-busting Battle Royale! Where fighters from all around the globe duke it out for a chance to win the grand prize! Are you a bad enough dude to survive the Battle Sphere? You are, you'll face me, Captain Kalau! Must be 13 years older to apply. The Battle Sphere is not responsible for death, dismemberment, injuries, or hair loss of any kind. This advertisement is brought to you by Mayor Zhao and Zhao Entertainment Corporation. Grand prizes are subject to change at the discretion of Mayor Zhao at any time and are non negotiable. All entrance fees are non refundable. Enter now! Is she out of her feline mind? I wouldn't underestimate Carol the Wildcat. Oh, oh, do you think that would be her stage name? That would be so cool! Go after her if you wish. I have better things to do. Wait, didn't you say you were looking for more fighters? A solid idea. But Gong and I had already considered it. The champion had no interest in our battles. Something about the Red Wing of Justice will not be drafted into military service. <laughs> that was very good. Thank you. But you do want his help, right? So what if we go to the Battle Sphere and win? Then he'll have to reconsider. Hmm. It'll be fun. I'm going to enter as Aleem, the mask and Murata with a mysterious past. I would like to know if the robots in there are related really? to the ones we've been fighting. I suppose this is worth our attention. That's the spirit! Okay, Phoenix Highway. <laughs>
That sucks. I can only have one of those active. Oh well. That one doesn't... That, I don't know. That one didn't really help me that much. Oh, wait a minute. Cyclone! Maybe I can... What are those things? What's that wing? What's that wing icon do? Wow, this has got to be the most fun level so far.
Ага. that thing to attack it. That was a cool boss. Pretty kick-ass level, too. Oh, there are other medals I can earn, I guess. I didn't notice that before. Zowland. While this was an unexpected deviation, this diversion gives us an opportunity to confirm our neighbor's strength. We are all in this together, after all. Have fun storming the battle sphere! <laughs> uh, it takes me back. Oh, goody! This game's answer to Carnival Night Zone. Is there gonna be a tricky barrel here too?
Oh, it's one of those things. The tester strength mini games. They have it, the carnivals. And of course, the teacup rides. Okay, who's throwing baseballs at me? Oh shit, you know what that reminds me of? Rystar! That one boss you go into, you see him on the TV screen and he's throwing stuff and you don't realize it until it hits you. And there it is. I knew that was too easy. The health bar kind of even gave it away. One more time. I'd call that a clutch win. Yeah! Okay, this is a this is a hub level. 
Okay, I see. The green ones are hub levels, and the blue star ones are action stages. Bigs. No funny business, unless you're one of the battle clowns. In that case, the dispensation of humor would be acceptable. The various antics of the battle clowns are most agreeable. We all enjoy a good laugh, professionally, of course. Okay, where's Wedge? Hey, you! Yeah, you! You think you're a true warrior? Now's your chance to prove it! We've procured a few artifacts we that will truly test your might on the battlefield. Brave stones, ready to roll. For a small fee, of course, if you're skilled enough to clear stages with them, you'll easily earn back the cost. One hit KO. You always have an empty life meter. Oh, so these are risk rewards. Life oscillation. Every 30 seconds, your life meter alternates between fully restored and completely drained. All item containers are transformed into bombs. Yeah, I don't really like risk rewards. Hey there, welcome to the Silver Lotus Express, home of Shang Mu's finest homemade noodles. Oh, whoops. My father was a demon king with three eyes. He killed my mom and sister and then gave me his power so I could do his bidding, but I said no, and he banished me. My weapon is a guitar sword made from the bones of dead behemoths. It can summon shadow clones to fight for me. There's, dimension there's a dimensional rift <clears throat> in my left eye that gives it a rainbow color. I'd show you, but unfortunately it destroys anyone who looks at it. I'm guessing that's just you, uh, LARPing, or trying to tell a LARP story. That whole thing with the museum and Chang Tu's seaports wouldn't have happened under my watch. That's the trouble with Chang Tuzians. Way too soft. Give them a couple of days with Shang Mu's number one patrol guard. I'll wet them into shape. There are some sandwiches for sale here. Fruit juice, too. Hey, got my eye on you. Nothing escapes the gaze of Shang Mu's number one patrol guard. Keep walking before I arrest you for obstruction of a police officer in the execution of their duties. Fruit beer. Lilac, what brings you back to these parts? If you ever feel like going on another wacky adventure with the Red Scarves, we're not far away. Wait, you know him? Oh, I just went around a circle. I drew a picture! Look at it! That's not half bad, actually, for a kid. Snakes are dumb. I think you and I are gonna be good friends. Carol, wait up! Lilac, um, hi, how's it going? What were you thinking? You shouldn't have run off without us. I don't need a babysitter, okay? I can handle myself. That's not the point and not at all what I meant. We want a battle sphere too! Yeah. If we're gonna fight in the battle sphere, then we're gonna do it together, as a team. Awesome! Looks like the old Carol charm is finally rubbing off on you guys. Even you, scary lady. Don't flatter yourself. I'm here to recruit the champion to our cause and to help you. You are clearly doomed to fail without our support. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence. I would have thought she'd call her, like, 
edge lady or something. Because that is her whole spiel, that her whole personality is she's just like an edgelord queen. I'm just glad nobody got seriously hurt in the attack on the museum. That's the most important thing. Oh, oh, not that I'm saying the destruction of priceless artifacts is not important. Those are very important, too. This is super important. Why does... Why, uh... Why are you talking like that? That's making me suspect you. Oh, yeah, you have to be invited to go in there. It's where all the famous people hang out so they don't get sworn by fans. Oh, hello, my name's Catherine. What's yours? Wait, no, I mean... Move along, citizen. S -s Sorry, I'm not making a good first impression, am I? Still working on my... I am the law voice. I'm the president of the Battlesphere Fan Club, also known as the BFC. We've got members from all over Avalis, even a couple in Perusa. Are you gonna enter? That's so cool. We hardly see any girls in there. It'd be nice to see us ladies taking butt and kicking names. Mmm, you know what I mean. Kind of confused me there, because uh, I, I kind of thought the the uh, dialogue was kind of mistranslated. Why are you talking to me? I'm re not really that important. Wow. <laughs> That's me. Uh, all the way. Hey there, welcome to Vinyl Venue. I guarantee you'll find something to fit your groove. Oh, okay, these are... These are the songs you can... You can buy and listen to. I can afford for now. What can I do for you today? Do you have an appointment? Would you like to, me to trim those ponytails of yours? No! I mean, no thank you, sorry. No? Well, allow me to leave you with a small Perusian Salaw... 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 A sleeping crustacean gets carried away by the current. Basically, you snooze, you lose. Sorry, I kind of need I kind of need these to defend myself. Yeah, so no touchy. Nira, my dear, is that you? You look different today. Oh, this is senile old lady. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck with her. I appreciate the attention, but shouldn't you be making friends your own age, my dear? Sorry, my old lady voice is cringy. I'll I'll uh I'll work on that. It looks like this game is playable. Fists of Frog. Fists of Frog. Um... Oh. What's this, like, Pac-Man? Oh, shit. Also, it kind of reminds me of those 8-bit retro minigames that replace the job the job uh, things in uh, No More Heroes 2. Fist 
Dove Frog. Wait, I should be able to cling on to that inner circle there. How do I do that? Can I even do that? Fist of Frog! Oh. I thought it was going to last longer. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. High score, 2,500. I don't think I've reached that yet. Fist of Frog! So if I beat that, I'll probably get something. Oh, what? Oh, it's only if I fly towards them, I guess, that it eats them. Of frog. Yeah, especially that that muffled voice right there. Just reminds me of that mini games from No More Heroes 2. How they sort of like eight bitized Travis's voice.
Wow. <laughs> Beat the score, though. I don't get anything for that? Oh. That's kind of lame. A state-of-the-art dance now machine. Groovy. Obviously no affiliation with Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> the D-pad, this place is called. That's exactly what I'm using to control the character here. This driving game only seems to work if there are four players. Captain Kalaw Quest 2 came out a few weeks ago. It's pretty good. The shooting levels take forever, though. Why didn't they just stick with the classic beat-em-up action of the first Kalaw Quest? The fur dye in Kiki's salon is amazing. I bet you thought that blue was my natural fur color. <laughs> Man, I miss arcades. Battlesphere time! I can't wait to see Captain Kala! I know his theme song by heart! Reminds me of people who used to comment on YouTube videos. It's like for for a song that's repetitive, and people are like, "I think I finally learned the lyrics to this song." No, I was trying to talk to this person, Claire. I gotta remember my shades the next time I'm out at sunrise. Last time, I couldn't see a thing and got lost. And before you even start, yes, I've heard all the blind-as-a-bat jokes before. Keep them to yourself. Oh, right, because she's a bat. Okay. I get it. Very funny. Anyone who says Captain Kala is the hottest fighter clearly wasn't around when Jade Fury took the stage. How did he keep his fur so glossy and perfect? Toby Stripes. I've been training every day since I busted my knee. Almost ready to take on the champ again. Knee injuries are pretty common in the battle sphere. I'd wear some guard pads if I were you. I'm part of the maintenance crew. We keep Zhao's battle bots in top shape. If have oh, there's a there's a typo. If you have any materials to spare, I'll gladly trade you some gold gems for them. Beginner's Gauntlet. Our next contestant is a water dragon! Now there's something you don't see every day! Very uh, Super Mario World of you, Freedom Planet 2.
BattleBot Battle Royale. Oh, my my friends are helping me here. So what now? Whoa! Looks like somebody didn't get the memo. Only the last fighter standing can ultimately Igor. face the champion of the battle sphere. Oh, right. Where's Doctor Frankenstein? Because if it does, I don't like what it means. All right, here's the plan. You guys take the fall, and I'll take on the champ. No, you have done well to come this far, but facing the champion is my responsibility. What? You don't think I can handle this? Guess we're going to have to settle this the hard way, huh? Oh, I've been waiting a long time for this! Wait, doesn't Carol technically fight Nira in the first game? Captain Kalau, acknowledge your fault. I am honored, Captain, and would like to extend to you an invitation. Shang Tu is besieged by war machines and needs stalwart heroes to defend it. Please, in the name of justice, help us protect our city. <laughs> is that so? Very well. I will make time to listen to your intriguing offer. On first, I dare you to face one final challenge. That's, That's right, right folks. folks! The champion himself will decide what a contestant's final challenge will be! This calls for a race! Really? You do know who I am, right? 
I assure you, citizen, you'll need more than a nice pair of boots to keep up with me. Is that... Is that wheel randomized? I kind of feel like it is. Wow, for the champion, you don't race as well as you boast, do you? You probably don't kick ass as well I as you boast, too. I don't believe what I'm saying, folks! Our newcomer has beaten Captain Kalao's challenge! Uh, I have tasted defeat! Victory is yours! Okay, so now that you're done being overdramatic, <laughs> can we please have a serious talk about you helping us? We could use your help protecting our kingdoms. Very well. My people will review your request and pertinent details, but first, I would tend to some unresolved matters. I will message you once I'm done. You have my word. Thank you for your time, sir. Here to present the grand prize for the Battle Royale is the honorable, handsome, and highly humble leader of our fair city, our very own man! Yeah, there's this plus five thing. I was waiting to see that. Allow me to present the grand prize. Everyone stand back. This is going to be good. Your reward is... Coupons for you and five of your friends to dine at City Hall in glorious downtown Shangmu. What? Thank you, Mayor Zhao. <laughs> what an honor. I suppose I could use a free hot meal. Hot meal? It's funny because you... I know. Hilarious. Glorious! Thank you all for competing. See you next time. No refund, seriously. <laughs> You were right about those fighters. Shang Tu breeds them tough, I'll grant Ooh, you that. He's also taking orders from her. Nothing that the captain can't handle at full strength. Good. But I have no intention of underestimating them. Nothing can be left to chance. Not this time. Wait, isn't that... What's that her name? That was so awesome! Except for the part where we didn't win anything. That was stupid. Look on the bright side. We got the captain's attention. And we can eat at Mayor Zhao's mansion whenever we want! Yeah, I guess. She... she voiced one of the bosses from Missouri Striker Gunbolt 3. Um... What was her name? I... I... I, I, lo I looked it up once. I... I forget. Morgan Berry, that's it. This diversion has gifted us a useful ally, but understand this. Future deviations from our mission will not be so easily forgiven. Kind of 
found that cursed theme song. It is driving me to distraction. What theme song? Battlesphere, huh? Ha, <laughs> that takes me back. Jade Fury is what they used to call me. Then I took an explosive cannon round to the knee. <laughs> really? A Skyrim joke? <laughs> Even though that meme is like 10 years old now. It's still funny. I confess that while I find the entertainment value of the battle sphere to be of dubious quality, I cannot deny its mass appeal, nor its catchy theme songs. Yeah, that whole place reeked of, like, 90s wrestling. Oh, wait a minute. Getting Captain Kalaw to join the fight may be more trouble than it's worth. His lawyers just sent over a contract the size of a textbook. Adding another bird to Shang Tu's defense force? Great! It'll be good to see more beaks around here. Stones. I hope people don't start thinking I look like him as well. Even I get a little confused sometimes now. Stones? Is that like what people say in these universe in lieu of oh my god or something? Oh, I, I get it. Because the kingdom stone. They worship that, so obviously. Ever wonder why wildcats are green? Camouflage. They can easily hide in the jungle flora of their homeland in Perusa. Wait, so Carol and her sister are from some place called Perusa? That'd be interesting to find out more about. They let a water dragon into Battlesphere? Don't you think that's a bit too much? I mean, sure, it pulls good viewer numbers or whatever, but... That shouldn't be what Battlesphere is about, you know? Well, I guess that... I think that's all it has been. That's what, like I was saying, 90s wrestling has been. Although, people still watch it because... Well, people... Eh. People watch it because of the, uh, the appeal. So yeah, she's got a point. The Battlesphere was nice. And we made a new friend and got free dinner at Mayor Zhao's. I declare this mission a huge success. I just need to get a proper mask for my battle Sona. Maybe a cape too? Ponder. Yeah, I'd like to get one of those. Wait a sec, Mila, I thought you weren't a fighter.
probably the easiest fight out of them all so far. Oh damn, she's pretty tough. Come on. I can take you.
Stay classy. All right, now I can fight this guy. Oh shit! He's a literal boss. Like, I guess an optional boss. Yikes! <laughs> okay, this guy's gonna be, uh, one tough customer. I jumped over that. You won't win Oh, I didn't mean to select that one. Yeah. <laughs> 
no, 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 no. God damn it, controller. Gonna have to do better than that. I would have had him. You won't win that easy. Why are you doing that? cable I have plugged into my PS4 controller, I guess, is losing its, uh, I, I don't know what to call it, stability, or it, its ability to, to, to stay connected into the little USB port in my controller, so, I don't know. What a time for that to happen, though. I can get one more of those things, though. Now that's left is this one. time away from gaming for a while. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game so far. This is really cool. They really worked hard on this. I, I can see why it took seven years to put this together. So I'll be back... Um, I don't know, today's, what, Wednesday? I don't know, I don't really have a schedule, and I'm not... I, I'm never busy, so... I don't know why I don't have a schedule. I guess I just stream when I feel like it. So, until next time... Um... Let's find someone to raid. Oh, looks like Arcade Angel's online now. Still playing Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. So... Yeah, let's go, uh... Let's go say hi to her. So, until next time. Peace out, everybody.